This morning, fears of another financial crisis. The Fed's already stepping in as two banks collapse. What we expect to happen today. Plus, Hollywood's biggest night is in the books and one film dominated. We have the highlights from the Oscars everybody will be talking about today. And light snow and flurries are around the area. We'll tell you how this may impact your commutes coming up. Good morning, folks. Welcome to News Now this morning. It is Monday, March 13th. I'm Josh Breider. I'm Chris Stanford, Julian Seawright with your first horn forecast. That's right, uh, March 13th. <laughs> this is a day that a lot of folks will remember. Three years ago is when the world shut down. Three years ago, yes. Yes, that was when it was declared a national emergency. Governor Evers shut down all of the schools. You think about three years and how much yeah. has changed. Yeah, uh, it's pretty yeah. crazy. It, people out there are still debating what the heck happened. I know. <laughs> Blanked in his uh, I No, it's, it's wild to think it's been three years ago. That was a right, uh, right before I came here to start. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, so travel was crazy. Uh, the, the whole transition was crazy. Uh, I remember it was, uh, we had celebrated Pi Day the day before, which we'll be doing tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> There's your hint, hint. We'll be at Hubbard tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. But that was like our first our last normal day yeah. as a news team before you got here and then oh, it wow. took us how long to get back long to normal time. after long, that long time so yeah something to think about today just think about how uh, grateful we're we're past that now yeah three years all right We've got some snow to talk about this morning and some really cold temperatures on the way. That's right, Chris. And the good news is, though, is that we're not looking at a substantial amount of snow. It's mainly decorative, but could be a headache for some areas on the roadways. Starting things off for us, this is what we're going to be looking at in terms of where the snow is. <clears throat> Just to the eastern side of Dane County, we're still dealing with some light snowfall, but it's going to continue to move its way and track just across Lake Michigan as we get into the later parts of this morning. But if you're going to be traveling north or even to the eastern side of I-39 in southern Wisconsin, just be prepared for some slick spots and some snow covered roads for this morning. As we get into the rest of the next three hours, we are expecting for that uh, small band to start to move its way across Lake Michigan, and then it's going to be Michigan's problem. For us, we're looking at the rest of this morning. Could see some flurries, but start to end as we get closer to the noon hour. Temperatures will be into the middle and upper 20s, and cloud cover is going nowhere today. We're looking for a high to be at 30 degrees for us, but we'll be timing out what else we can see, especially that cold coming in for us in just a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Julian. We are taking a live look at the White House this morning. That's because President Biden plans to address the nation in just a matter of hours. It's regarding his administration's plan to prevent widespread financial fallout. Markets overseas in Europe this morning already trading uh, down 2% or more. Uh, it could be a sign of what's to come here in the U.S. as Wall Street will open at 8.30 this morning for trading. The federal government has already stepped in to limit the fallout from the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. It comes after two banks collapsed in a matter of days. Federal officials insist it will not be a taxpayer-funded bailout this time. Federal regulators say they're taking some emergency measures now to make sure that depositors of the now-failed Silicon Valley Bank, or SVB, will have access to all of their funds starting today. They say they are taking similar measures now for investors of Signature Bank of New York, which collapsed just yesterday. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. And in a separate announcement, the Fed late yesterday announced an emergency lending program intended to prevent a wave of people from pulling money out of banks essentially lending freely to the banking system so that customers would be confident that they could access their accounts whenever needed. Also, last night, President Biden said in a statement that he is committed to holding those responsible fully accountable. It's Hollywood's biggest night of the year as the 95th Oscars return to celebrate the best films of the year. There were plenty of notable wins, including the big night for everything, everywhere, all at once. Here's CBS's Donnie Backus. Everything, everywhere, all at Everything, everywhere, all at once. Grab seven Oscars at the 95th Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I have great faith in our stories. Story, these stories have changed my life, and um, they've done that for generations. It also won for Best Director, Editing, Screenplay, and three of the four top acting awards. Michelle Yeoh made history when she was named Best Actress in a Leading Role. 
She's the first Asian to win the prize and only the second woman of color. There are so many who have felt unseen, unheard. It's not just the Asian community. This is for the Asian community, but for anybody who's in, been identified as a minority, we deserve to be heard. We deserve to be seen. We deserve to have the equal opportunity so we can have a seat at the table. The film's co-stars Ki Hui Kwan and Jamie Lee Curtis won for their supporting roles. Former child actor Kwan gave up acting 20 years ago because he didn't see opportunities for Asian actors. My journey started on a boat. I spent a year in a refugee camp. And somehow, I ended up here on Hollywood's biggest stage. It was also Curtis's first Oscar. She acknowledged her late actor parents. I just won an Oscar. The Best Actor Award went to Brendan Fraser for The Whale. Um, this has been incredibly rewarding and affirming, and it's given me um, a lesson in humility. I'm um, in gratitude. There were no incidents during the more than three and a half hour show, unlike last year when actor Will Smith slapped comedian Chris Rock on the Oscar stage. Host Jimmy Kimmel addressed the slap during his opening monologue. If anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor. <laughs> And Lenny Kravitz performed a moving tribute to those the industry lost in the past year. Donya Backus, CBS News. Oscars were handed out in 23 categories at the request of members of the Academy. Last year, several categories were announced in a pre-show, which was not a popular decision. The thorny issue of how to keep Social Security solvent is once again stirring up debate. Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley says the country should raise the retirement age for Americans in their 20s. Fellow Republican House member Nancy Mace of South Carolina says raising the age when people can collect benefits should be considered, but offered up some caveats. We do not want to take away those that are in retirement or those that are heading into retirement. But if we're talking about younger generations, my kids, for example, if they know what the, what the retirement will look like 40 years from now, 50 years from now, then that should be on the table and can be. We have to. Both Republicans and Democrats have screwed this thing up and they've got to fix it. Congress has slowly raised the retirement age to collect full benefits for Social Security. It used to be 65 for decades, of course. It's now 67 for people born in the late 60s or later. Americans can still file for Social Security benefits as early as 62, but they'll receive a reduced amount. A new study shows a racial disparity for babies who die suddenly and unexpectedly. A study published today in the journal Pediatrics found the SUID rate for black babies spiked in the latest data from 2020. While the rate for white babies dropped to the lowest it has been since 2017, the rate for black babies in 2020 was the highest it has been since then. The study also finding rates that were already about two times higher for black babies in 2017 grew to nearly three times higher in 2020. The 22nd annual Bowling for Colons fundraiser took over bowling alleys across the area yesterday. It was all to raise money for colon cancer research. Peggy Weinerhold has been bowling at the UW Carbone Cancer Center's annual uh, fundraiser for two decades. She started her team to honor her husband, Joe, a beloved UW professor who passed away from colon cancer 22 years ago. Go. He shared his experience with colon cancer in the classroom with colleagues, with family and friends to raise an awareness. And I have to think that by doing that, he saved lives. Weiderholt says it's important to raise awareness for everyone, no matter their age. Uh, they had a pretty good weekend. They raised 62,000 bucks. Wow. Yeah, it's all going to GI Cancer Research. They've gotten more than a million dollars since the event began 22 years ago. Oh, amazing work there. Well, sports can often bring the community together, and that's the case for the Janesville Jets, which celebrated the life of one of their biggest fans this weekend. At 26 years old, Tristan Ray passed away last September. He had se severe cerebral palsy affecting him cognitively and physically. He was a man that could make anybody smile, though. So in front of a packed crowd, they rolled Tristan's wheelchair onto the ice with a custom jersey and told his story. Now initiatives are in the works in Tristan's honor to make Janesville more handicap accessible. This isn't about giving up. This is about continuing to do what it was that Tristan and I always did when he was here. I'm really excited for what they're planning on doing here and 
for how they're willing to change things in the community where they can. The Jets are starting to work with students with disabilities in local schools and are adding more handicapped seats in Tristan's honor. Love that. Coming up on 610 this morning and just ahead, bare minimum Mondays and mental health. How the new trend is ramping up for working Americans. And Badger men's basketball shut out of the NCAA tournament. But a championship still open this morning for one Badger sports team. We're back after this. It's time to march into deer season. Get your John Deere 1025R with a 120R loader for just $195 per month. Get a John Deere now and power up at Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. At Pick and Save, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. You've got this. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Bank's got you with access checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Right now at the Century House, purchase any Fjords furniture and receive up to 20% off. All models, all sizes, all colors. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Two candidates for Supreme Court, two very different beliefs. Judge Janet Protasewicz, she believes women should have the freedom to make their own decisions on abortion. Extremist Dan Kelly, he supports the 1849 law that takes away women's rights and criminalizes abortion, even in cases of rape, incest, and health of the mother. So who represents you? An extremist or a common sense judge? Vote by April 4th. Plates, plates, plates. There's somehow no better way to travel this place than on a plate. And when you add price drop protection, Expedia pays you back if your flight becomes cheaper. So you can taste your way through every single plate and never wonder if you found a good deal. Because the good deal found you. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. It's time to march into deer season. Get your John Deere Gator utility vehicle with 0% for 36 months and no money down. Get a John Deere Gator now and... Power up at Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 613 on a Monday morning. The latest office trend eases into the work week by doing less. It's called bare minimum Mondays. As CBS Michael George explains, it's not about slacking, it's about self-care. Marissa Jo Mays came up with a solution to the dreaded start of the work week. This video is permission to do the absolute bare minimum today. The self-employed digital creator and startup co-founder practices bare minimum Mondays. You used to hate Mondays, but now you love them. From her home in Phoenix, Mays keeps the first two hours of her Monday free and schedules only three tasks for the day. It was like some kind of sorcery had happened. As soon as the pressure was gone, I was more productive than I'd been in a long time. You'd make a to-do list that was way too long thinking you could overachieve your way out of the stress, but you never did. Mays promoted the concept with TikTok videos and they went viral. 
people relate to the stress that I'm describing and the overwhelm that I'm describing. And when they hear about the changes that I feel now, they want in. Bare Minimum Mondays is the latest strategy to combat ever-increasing work burnout. According to the job search engine and review site Glassdoor, the phrase mental health in company reviews jumped 91% from 2019 to 2022. Burnout mentions were up 42% in that same time. Now workers are experimenting more with boundaries. If employers are concerned about how this is playing out in the workplace, it's a great time to reopen the discussion about how burnout is affecting employees. While the bare minimum approach isn't possible for all workers, Mays says there are ways everyone can improve their day. It's really asking these questions that can start to get people thinking about themselves as also a human in addition to an employee. And it's working. And that doing less can be more. Michael George, CBS News, New York. So what do you think our bosses would say if we wanted to do nothing for the first two hours um, of our shift? <laughs> I'm drafting a plan this morning for 30-minute uh, Mondays. Okay. The 30 minutes of News 3 now this morning on Monday. We'll Instead just do, of a two-and-a-half-hour we'll marathon. Just do, we'll just do 6.30 to 7. <laughs> we'll I'll air, sign off on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll air Brux commercials for the first 90 minutes. And the news three now this morning from 6.30 to 7. Why not? I don't think it's going to go over. I don't think so either. We can try, though. The Brux people might like it, though. <laughs> Let's get the Julian C. right in your first word of weather forecast. Julian, what's our Monday forecast looking like? Well, we're still dealing with some light flurries and snow showers, but the good news is it's not going to be a surmountable <laughs> amount of it. Instead, it's just going to be some decorative and some slippery stretches as we're waking up this morning. But we're going to start things off with our weather hotline. So three things we'll need to know is that it's going to be quiet today. And once the snow is done, once we get into our afternoon, all we have to worry about now is the cold. Starting tonight into our Tuesday morning, we're going to see temperatures into the single digits. And on top of it, we can see wind chill values from 0 to 10 degrees below zero. For our midweek, we're looking at milder temperatures. 40s and 50s will return. But with those milder temperatures, we're also looking at rain and then snow heading into our weekend. So let's go ahead and talk about what else we can expect and planning out the rest of today. Starting with the radar, we are seeing just a smaller band of snow, mainly just east of Madison as of right now. Again, if you're going to be traveling north of I-39 or to the eastern side, that's where you're going to be expecting a bit more of those slippery stretches or even some snow covered roads as we continue throughout our Monday morning. So make sure you're taking it easy and slow on the roadways as you're traveling. But outside of that, it's going to be quiet. It's temperatures into the upper 20s, cloudy throughout the course of the day. We're going to see our high temperature into the lower 30s once we get into our afternoon. Slippery stretches are going to remain throughout this morning, but as we get into the afternoon, we are expecting those road conditions to improve throughout much of southern Wisconsin. So our 5 p.m. commute, not looking for too much in terms of a headache. Walking through the rest of our future track here, we are going to see those northerly winds keeping things rather cold, so we're going to be below freezing throughout the rest of today. Heading into tonight, we're going to see even colder temperatures. Sky cover is going to break up just a bit, releasing some of that radial cooling, which is going to drop temperatures into the single digits. And again, with some of those breezy conditions as well, we're also going to be looking at uh, a few of those temperatures to fall into the 0 to uh, 10 degrees below zero. Here's a look at our 10 day forecast. We're going to see temperatures start to rise heading into our Wednesday and Thursdays. Milder temperatures are rolling, but we're going to be tracking here in the first one weather team another system that's going to be bringing some rain to the forecast. Outside of the rain, we are ending our work week with some snow showers that will lead into our weekend. It's going to be on a colder side, but next week we're rebounding once again, guys, with temperatures into the 40s. Thanks, Joy. The bracket is officially set for the NCAA tournament, but unfortunately for Wisconsin, they did not make it. It's the first time since 2018 and just the second time since 1998. However, Greg Gard and his group, they aren't done yet. The Badgers are NIT bound and have earned a three seed for the tournament. UW will host Bradley tomorrow night at 830 in the first round. The winner from that will move on and face the winner of Liberty and Villanova. Myself and our staff felt this was important to uh, you know, give our, our guys another chance to continue to grow through the season, use this as a, you know, an opportunity. It's obviously some really good teams in this tournament as we thought there would be. So, you know, to continue to grow this year and uh, obviously you always look at, at propelling you forward 
uh, specifically when you got the vast majority of your team returning the following year. While the Badgers aren't NCAA tournament bound, both of Marquette's programs are. On the men's side, they lock up the number two seed after winning the Big East tournament. They'll face Vermont Friday. The women's team is seeded ninth and will face South Florida also on Friday. The quest for a seventh national championship begins this week for Wisconsin women's hockey as they're frozen four-bound for the 14th time in program history. And greeting them in their first game up in Duluth is an all-too-familiar opponent. Minnesota. This marks the sixth round of the border battle this season. During the regular season, UW went 2-0-2 against them. In the postseason, UW lost them in the WCHA final faceoff. But that was then, and this is now. Nothing that happened um, in the past matters anymore. It doesn't matter how many times we beat them, how many times they beat us. The NCAA playoffs, NCAA playoffs is just such a different game than anything we've done before, and so. Um, I think we're just going to stick to Badger hockey because we have so much confidence that when we're at our best that we can beat any team. The Badgers and Gophers rematch is set for Friday at 6. The winner of that semifinal matchup will advance to the national championship game on Sunday to face either Ohio State or Northeastern. It won't be long. That's at least what Aaron Rodgers is saying about when he will announce what's next. Number 12 was out at a charity football event in California over the weekend when he got talking with Brandon Marshall telling him to stay tuned. It won't be long. This comes after Packers president Mark Murphy shared that the franchise would honor a trade request if Rodgers wants that. And after other reports from earlier in the week that a couple front office members and coaches from the Jets flew out to meet Rodgers. Back to you. Coming up, can you pass the ranch, please? Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to talk about the new ice cream flavor that may have you wondering why. We're back after this. Stay with us. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Mad City, a division of Renuity, the local service you deserve, now backed by unmatched national strength. We are Wisconsin's number one remodeler. Get a new bath, shower, or walk-in tub installed in as little as one day, back with a lifetime warranty. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, once you receive a free design consultation, your price is locked in and guaranteed for one year. Call Mad City Baths now for our spring into savings event. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower. 48 months, zero interest. Senior military discounts plus a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call now will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. Use for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. Ask about our do more discount on windows or cabinet refacing. Mad City, a division of Renuity, the local service you deserve, now backed by unmatched national strength. I was all very, very professional, very professional. I really appreciate that, that the craftsmanship was terrific. It was top of the line, and I, I just really liked it. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers. Check out this tub to shower conversion customized with grab bars, handhelds, and a beautiful shower door installed in as little as one day. Plus, ask about Mad City's price lock guarantee and call now during our spring into savings event. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower, 48 months, zero interest, senior military discounts, plus a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call now will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. Here's that number again, 608-729-4466. Are you sure? I got it. Oh, I'm okay. You want to flip those over, though. Everyone can use a little help now and then. The Volkswagen Tiguan with standard front assist. Visit your Volkswagen dealer and get 4.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Tiguan SE promotion or lease one for just $3.59 per month. Limited inventory available. 
Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. We're back, 624, and we're trying to figure out what's going on here. This is a beautiful photo by David, it's but not honestly, this is <laughs> not, this isn't in the present. Not around here anytime soon, <laughs> recently. Too great. No way, yeah. Oh, nice and lush, a sign that spring is right around the corner. We're not I mean, just think, like, that far from Exactly, this. like in, you know, it could be 30 days that it looks like this. I hope so. Yeah. Well, not with the temperatures in the forecast, though, maybe. I mean... <sighs> Look, Julian's got single either. digits in his <laughs> forecast, everybody. <laughs> One day. He tried to just slide it in there like we're not going to notice. But yeah. then did you I see the it. nicer temperatures and like the extended, which we'll get to. I feel yeah. like we're, we're after not another the chance yet, of snow. <laughs> All right, I'm done. We are Thanks, David, for <laughs> Thanks, David, for sure, and your nice green lush shot with us this morning. We appreciate it. All right, here's an odd combination. Salad dressing and dessert. It's a thing. Yeah, can you pass the ranch, please? <laughs> Hidden Valley Ranch teaming up with Van Leeuwen Ice Cream for, you guessed it, Hidden Valley Ranch Ice Cream. That's not the only new flavor that's coming from that collaboration. They say the treats showcase the savory flavors of ranch with buttermilk, herbs, and a touch of sweetness. Ice cream will be available March 20th through the 28th, and it'll cost five bucks per container. I love ranch as much as the other, the next Midwesterner. Don't want this but for my this ice is cream. But this does not sit well, and I'm not sure why. Mm. Just those two flavor combinations. Just, just, it's definitely know. just not sweet. I don't know, man. Yeah. The right. weather's not very sweet either. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, there's some parts of it. That okay. Is. This is <laughs> always the optimist. We can, we can identify this as a ranch forecast. It's going to be warmer <laughs> into the middle part of the week, but at least we got 30s today. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're back after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Fearings, our people, vision, and values help protect your business through smart security design using technology by Verkata. Easy to integrate and cost effective, it's security reimagined to keep your people safe. Visit Fearings.com. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Get a low $3.59 per month lease on road. Catch these offers while you can. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Give any room a fresh look with Mohawk Tile. Mohawk features ceramic, porcelain, and mosaic glass tiles to fit any decor. Pick up Bloomfield Hexagon Tiles for only $139 each after 11% rebate. Complete your tiling job with professional installation products from Tech. Unique Power Grout formula is highly stain resistant and never needs sealing. Power Grout is only $18.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan. It's being prepared for all the challenges you may face after a serious injury. It's confronting every aspect of your case with honesty, integrity, and innovative solutions that have earned us a reputation for excellence in representing the injured. It's no wonder so many clients refer their own friends and family to our team of dedicated professionals year after year. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Call today for a free consultation. Chicago. Celebrating 25 years of Broadway Razzle Dazzle. The Associated Press calls Chicago the most entertaining musical of the decade. Paint the town again with Chicago the Musical. At Overture, March 21st through 26th. Tickets at Overture.org. For 75 years, DePaco has been more than local. It's a member-owned, not-for-profit cooperative that has grown into a vital community resource, a place where members can build a life worth loving. When you join DePaco, you own it. Your money stays here, enriching the lives of your friends and neighbors. DePaco strives to carry out the mission envisioned by the 10 meatpacking employees who founded it to create a brighter community for all. To learn more about DePaco and how to become a member, go to depacocom join. It would appear that 
The butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. Catch these offers while you can. At Fearings, we protect your business through smart security design and Verkata technology. Verkata's cloud-based platform and point-and-click simplicity make for a significant ROI. Fearings Audio Video Security. Visit fearings.com. Right now, fears of another financial crisis. Two banks collapse, the Fed step in, and this morning we are looking ahead to what to expect before Wall Street reacts. So this is what the multiverse looks like. And a big night at first at the Oscars, we have the winners from the 95th year of the Hollywood event. Light snow, some flurries and slick spots is what we're tracking this morning. We'll give you the latest coming up. Good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Ryder alongside Julian C. Wright. Are you ready for this? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the brackets are out. Ooh. Everybody's going to be filling those out. We're going to do something special here on News 3 Now. We're going to give you a chance to compete against... Uh, the anchors of News 3 now, uh, and see how well you stack up. And Sanford and I are going to be going up against each other here with this <laughs> as well, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, uh, I have not filled mine out yet. One thing I know for sure is that uh, I'm going to go with the uh, upset of Vermont Ooh. over Marquette, just to stick <laughs> it did. to the Golden mm -hmm. Eagles. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's out of pettiness, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can hear our Marquette alum back yeah, in the some, newsroom. Some upsets over uh, some, some Badger uh, contender, or some other Big Ten teams yeah. uh, that I don't want to see go very far in the tournament. Either, so. <laughs> it's going to be a big week, though. Yeah. And yeah, the weather we is kind of, talk about yeah, going to be another busy one. Cold, some more snow. Get us out of here. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. So start, starting with what we have for our Monday morning. Well, it's not super eventful, but it's one of those where you just got to pay attention to where you're driving. Because as we're waking up this morning, we're dealing with some light snow and flurries that have been sticking around throughout the overnight hours to our Monday morning. What that has resulted in is some slick and snow-covered roads throughout the northern parts of I-39 and the eastern side of Dane County as well. So just make sure you're taking your time and just being cautious on the roadways. They're not going to be overly deteriorated in terms of conditions, but still something to be mindful of throughout the rest of your morning. Now over the next three hours on our radar, we are looking for that snow band to move its way over to Lake Michigan and become Michigan's problem for us, which is going to leave us with cold and cloudy conditions. That's what we're seeing. Looking ahead, temperatures will be into the middle 20s throughout the rest of our morning. On top of it, as we get into today, we're still dealing with cloud cover. We may reach the lower 30s, but overall things are going to stay quiet and cold, but it's going to get even colder as we get into tonight. We're going to be timing out when we can see another burst of, that's right, single digits in the middle of our march in a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. Julian, thank you. You can stay on top of the hour by hour forecast for yourself. Just download the free first Warn weather app in your app store today. An update here. Madison police uh, say that the vehicle involved in a fatal hit and run has been uh, recovered. Police recovering uh, this vehicle we showed you shortly after that hit and run happened uh, near Schrader Road and Struck Street. It happened the 17th of February. The blue Malibu you see here struck a man walking his dog. No further information has been given as far as a search for the driver goes, though. Uh, Madison police do say it's an active investigation that remains a top priority. Ridgeway police arrested a man they believe was yelling racial slurs and spat on an officer. The man told police he had gone outside to his backyard to let his dogs out when he saw a 59 year old man in his yard acting aggressively. He left but was later found in a parking lot near the home. Police say it was here that the man was yelling racial slurs and causing a scene. That man then allegedly spat on the officer taking him into custody. The man faces a variety of charges, including disorderly conduct with a hate crime enhancer, resisting arrest, and threats to a law enforcement officer. We are not naming this man as part of a newsroom policy to not name people accused of crimes until they are formally charged in court. President Biden will address the nation this morning regarding his administration's plan to prevent widespread financial fallout stemming from the collapse of two U.S. banks. European markets already reacting this morning. The top three European markets are already down 2% in early trading. The federal government has stepped in to limit the damage. Federal officials insist it will not be a taxpayer-funded bailout, though. 
federal regulators say they're taking emergency measures to make sure that depositors of the now failed Silicon Valley Bank, or SVB, will have access to all of their funds starting today. And they're taking similar measures for investors of Signature Bank of New York, which collapsed yesterday. The American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized. It's resilient. In a separate announcement, the Fed late Sunday announced an emergency lending program intended to prevent a wave of people pulling money out of banks, essentially lending freely to the banking system so that customers would be confident they could access their accounts whenever needed. Also last night, President Biden released a statement saying that he is committed to holding those responsible fully accountable. New this morning, it was a big night for the film industry with the 95th rendition of the Oscars taking place. There were a lot of winners with everything everywhere all at once, clearing seven wins with Best Picture and Ruth E. Carter being the bl uh, first black woman to take home two Oscar wins. But another win had many in tears as Brendan Fraser reignited his film career with a golden statue win in The Whale. So this is what the multiverse looks like. There was a facility that I didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate at the time until it stopped. And I just want to say thank you for this acknowledgement because it couldn't be done without my cast. Fraser took home the Oscar for Best Actor and gave an emotional speech that was filled with whale-themed puns. Fraser found his stardom in the 90s with films like The Mummy, Encino Man, and Airheads. Well, the Badgermans basketball team will not be uh, dancing in the tournament this year. They did not make the cut. Uh, they will uh, be playing in the NIT tournament. Their first matchup is set for tomorrow night at the Kohl Center. Well, when March Madness comes around, you know that so do those brackets. A lot of Americans will be filling out their brackets. Uh, and a quarter of all Americans plan to wager over $15 billion this year in the NCAA tournament. 20 million people make casual bets with their friends, while 56 million plan to build a bracket in a contest. The popular Vegas favorites this year to win out, Kentucky, Texas A&M, and Gonzaga. Metro Transit officials will be hosting another meeting tomorrow night to discuss upcoming construction on the bus rapid transit system. Construction officially began on the BRT last week in the Mineral Point Road, Whitney Way, and University Avenue areas. Those who attend this meeting will learn more about the road work, construction timelines, and anticipated effect on traffic. Much of the work related to the project will result in lane closures and traffic control. The meeting is scheduled for 6 tomorrow night and can be attended through Zoom. There is a link available on the City of Madison's website. Former Vice President Mike Pence openly rebuking former President Trump's role in the January 6th riots. Pence says that history will hold Donald Trump accountable. Pence spoke at the annual Gridiron Club dinner in Washington, D.C. He talked about how Trump's reckless words endangered his family and everyone at the Capitol that day. Pence also said that Trump was wrong for claiming that he had the authority to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Pence then criticized Republicans who've minimized the insurrection, as well as those who have downplayed people that stormed the Capitol that day as tourists. The former VP also made a promise during his speech, saying that for as long as I live, I will never ever diminish the injuries sustained, the lives lost, or the heroism of law enforcement on that tragic day. To campaign 2023 now, biotech and healthcare entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy has announced his run for the Republican presidential nomination. The 37-year-old told CNN he is a candidate because he believes the U.S. has lost its identity. He says when you ask people of any age what does it mean to be an American, people respond with blank stare. Ramaswamy is the first, the third candidate to announce he is running for the GOP nomination. Former President Donald Trump and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley are also candidates. If you're getting out of town for spring break soon, Crime Stoppers wants to remind you to be careful. Here are some simple steps to do that. The National Crime Prevention Council reports residential burglaries increase 10 to 18 percent when people go on vacation. Crime Stoppers recommends that you notify your neighbors you're going to be away so they can keep an eye on your house. Of course, you'll want to secure all doors and windows. If you can, set up automatic lights that are scheduled to turn on and off. Pause your newspaper and your mail delivery. That is an easy sign to let people know that you are not home. Finally, avoid posting your vacation plans on social media until you get back. That could tip off potential burglaries that you'll be away. 
For the first time in four years, the St. Patrick's Day Parade returned to Capitol Square in downtown Madison. The COVID pandemic put the annual parade on hold for three full years, but the parade making a comeback ahead of St. Patrick's Day this Friday. Despite the snow, the parade moved forward without any issues. Parade organizers estimated around 7,000 people attended. This is like the gateway to spring. Everybody loves coming out here knowing that soon the snow will melt and we'll be happy to celebrate summer again. If only it felt like that. Right. This was the 23rd year of the parade, which is put on by the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. Hey, some nice video here of some of the melting snow. Make them for some uh, kind of cool waterfalls. This is at the Falls in Marinette. If you wanted to see them, it's five bucks for a vehicle fee. If you're looking for something closer, of course, there's always Devil's Lake, which is a quick 45 minute drive away and Stevens Falls at Governor Dodge State Park. All right, so I'm going to be more positive. It looks beautiful. It, it does. does look good. Yeah, the sticky wet snow has been sticking to everything, so everything looks really clean and fresh. Yeah, it does. And soon it's not going to look like that. It's going to be once it starts melting, it looks disgusting. Outside, yeah, it so. does. And then we get those spring showers that wash us everything away, of course. And then it's going to start green. the blooms. Can't wait. We're almost there, folks. 640 outside this morning. You might have to deal with some slippery stretches. Uh, that's because we had some fresh snowfall overnight. Uh, we did have some slick spots on my way into work this morning. We'll see just how much snow we got and how low temps will go. Also ahead, new information about heart health and air pollution. What you need to know to keep your family safe in your morning health watch. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Garage doors don't like the cold weather, but if it breaks, Precision Garage Door is always ready. It does not matter if it's raining or snowing or any kind of other weather conditions, we're gonna get it done on the same day. We know how important that is to our customers. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Team. Team. You earned this moment. This was not our finest moment. No, let's, let's go, go to McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah! There's a deal for every celebration at McDonald's. Enjoy 20-piece Chicken McNuggets for just $6. So with a Planet Fitness Block Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy? Hey, everybody know that you need to glow, you need to glow, the glow, the glow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Cause when you got the glow, that is no stop the glow you want to do. And I can bring a friend. It's a way of life. Okay, sign me up. Sign up for the PF Black Card for one dollar down, twenty four ninety nine a month, and get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends March fifteenth. It's glow time. It's spring break at Bob's, and I'm introducing my biggest, bestest backyard collection ever. Soak up the sun in outdoor furniture that comes with indoor comfort, quality, and of course, my everyday low prices. Rock and recline on Bobapedic memory foam seating. Defy Mother Nature with weather resistant wicker, rust proof frames, and UV resistant fabric. And make your backyard more fun and functional with stylish accents and accessories. You deserve a break. Spring break at Bob's Discount Furniture. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. We're reinventing our network. Move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. A high-stakes election for a seat on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. News 3 Now presents a debate between candidates Daniel Kelly and Janet Protasewicz in a campaign 2023 special. Tuesday, March 21st at 4 p.m., only on News 3 Now. News 3 Now, first warm weather. When you're planning your day, accuracy matters. Trust Madison certified most accurate team so you'll know what to expect when you head out the door. First warm weather, keeping you ahead of the storms. You're watching News 3 Now this morning.
On the Health Watch at 644 this morning, air pollution could be a serious danger to your heart health. Researchers tracked hospital admissions for cardiovascular disease in 70 Chinese cities, finding higher admission rates in places with elevated ozone levels. Their concerned air pollution from climate change could make the problem even worse. The FDA updating its mammogram standards to help better prevent, detect, and treat cancer. Under the new rules, providers will be required to notify women if they have dense breast tissue. About half of all women over the age of 40 do, which can make it harder to detect breast cancer. Let's get to Julian C. right now with your first worn weather forecast. A little overnight snow leaving a mess out there for us, Julian. That's right. Good news is, though, it's not a whole lot of mess. Just a little bit. But let's get into our weather headlines. The three things we'll need to know is that outside of the snow, folks, it's going to be quiet today. But going into tonight, we're going to see those temperatures really fall. Single digits and wind chill values of 0 to 10 degrees below zero are anticipated for many areas of southern Wisconsin. Then later into the week, the 40s and 50s return briefly because then we're back to cold temperatures and on top of it, some snow showers, not just rain later into the week. Let's go ahead and talk about the rest of this morning. As right now, as we're waking up, we're starting to see a bit of some cloud cover that's starting to break up for us throughout much of southern Wisconsin. But as of right now, our today's impacts, this is what we're seeing for us. Slippery stretches will stick around from 6 a.m. into our 8 a.m. But then as we get closer to the afternoon hours, expect road conditions to really improve. Now, future track, this is what we're seeing. The snow in itself is going to start to continue to move eastbound was once we get to the later parts of this morning. The windy conditions are not going to be overly strong, but we'll be feeling that chill throughout the rest of our morning and especially into our afternoon. Temperatures into the upper 20s, near 30 degrees once we get into the afternoon hours. Still relatively quiet. 5 p.m. commute is not going to be having any issues or when you pick the kiddos up from school. Going into tonight's though, cloud cover will break up a bit and temperatures will plummet overnight, especially. We're going to be into the teens and single digits once we're heading out the door for tomorrow. And folks, that's going to matter because the wind chill values could be once again below zero as you're heading out the door. So make sure you're bundling up. Even though it's going to be brief, we're still going to have a very cold start to our Tuesday morning. Here's a quick look at our 10 day forecast. Here in the first one weather team, we are going to be monitoring temperatures to rise into the 40s once we get to our Wednesday, Thursday, but a system that's going to be bringing in some rainfall is expected as well from our Thursday. And then once we get to our Friday, we have more snow in the forecast. Not looking to be a whole lot, but still some scattered snow showers are expected for Friday and for Saturday as colder temperatures hold firm here in Madison. Then we warm back up heading into next week, guys. Julian, thank you. 646 right now. A new trend joins others like quiet quitting and the great resignation. It's called bare minimum Mondays. This latest office trend eases into the work week where some workers keep their first two hours free and only accomplish three tasks for the day. But those following the trend say it actually increases their productivity and mental health. The bare minimum approach may not be possible for all workers, but do, uh, do some research and talk to your employer and see if there are ways to protect your mental health and prevent burnout. I like this. I like it. <laughs> be hard for us to do. Very hard for us, unfortunately. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, and if we had a couple extra hours, of course, we know how we'd spend it. Yes, sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> Especially after uh, losing an hour over the weekend. That's rough. Oh, that's, that's rough. This morning was not pleasant. Hopefully you guys are taking it a little better than we are. <laughs> 647 coming up in the morning sprint. The latest on a string of vehicle thefts that hit a local community hard over the weekend. Plus, President Biden set to address bank failures today as the U.S. government moves to stop a potential banking crisis. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time double bacon cheddar pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Nacho cheddar cheese sauce, crispy bacon, Canadian bacon? Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. Good news. This just in. Your four dealers have fresh shipments of their own award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the 
number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard GOAT modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Now get a 2022 Explorer with 0% APR financing for 36 months, only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. We're reinventing our network. With smarter, more efficient routes. So you can deliver more value to your customers. Fast, reliable, perfectly orchestrated. The United States Postal Service. At Fearing's Audio Video Security, our people, vision, and values drive superior technology solutions that result in great customer experiences. Choosing the right technology solutions can be daunting. From consultation and design to installation and support of your AV and security systems, our team communicates and guides each step. Fearing's Audio Video Security, making a difference for our customers and our world. Visit fearings.com. Family-owned Brothers Maine knows choosing appliances for a remodel or new build can be exciting and overwhelming. Our experienced staff has experienced it all as we've guided thousands of area families through appliance selection. Brothers Maine has a larger inventory and low price deals that consistently beat competitors, including Big Box. You heard me, Big Box can't beat our prices. From sales to install, Brothers Maine does it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Maine. Remember this, and this, and the false selector scheme. In Wisconsin, extremist Dan Kelly was the right-wing lawyer behind the scenes of it all. The bipartisan January 6th commission revealed Kelly advised Trump operatives as special counsel to overturn the will of the people and overthrow the election results. Kelly even went on tour promoting the big lie. On April 4th, vote like democracy depends on it, because it does. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Shopco Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. Coil Carpet One Floor and Home. Beautiful made affordable. 6.51, time for the morning sprint. We start with the latest on a string of vehicle thefts over the weekend. Fitchburg police say five vehicles were stolen Saturday night. Four of those were later located not too far from where they were taken from, but one still hasn't been found. It happened in three different locations west of Fish Hatchery Road near Madison Southside. Officers believe one of the stolen vehicles may be connected to other property crime in the area. Madison police have recovered the vehicle involved in a hit and run. This one happened near Schrader Road and Struck Street, February 14th. This blue Malibu you see on your screen struck a man walking his dog. No further information was given in the update. We've been asking about the search for a suspect, but nothing. Madison police say it's an active investigation that remains a top priority. New video of an explosion in a home in South Dakota. Take a look at this. Officials wow. say it was caused by gas meters being buried in excessive snow. This is the second explosion in the South Dakota town in the last month. Officials say large amounts of snow can put pressure on pipes and cause them to break and fail. Another thing they say you should be worried about are clogged vents, so take care of that. Uh, Chicago tradition as they die the river green uh, for St. Patrick's Day. It started back in 1961 when a business owner noticed one of his plumber's clothes was dyed green. It was because of the dye they used to check for leaks and pollution. The river is now dyed with 40 pounds of environmentally friendly material that keeps the river green for five hours. An emergency response crew in Vermont was activated after an incoming aircraft said there was a threat on board. Police have not said what the threat was, but the FBI has taken control of the investigation. Witnesses say they saw a canine crew getting on the plane after deboarding. Officials say they followed procedure and no one was injured. U.S. Coast Guard calling the deaths of eight people a tragedy in California. It happened late Saturday night off the coast of San Diego where one of two boats capsized. Eight killed, seven others are said to be missing. It's not yet clear uh, which boat the victims were on or what caused the boats to capsize. Selections are set for the NCAA tournament, but unfortunately the Badgers did not make the cut. They will play at the NIT tournament with their first matchup tomorrow. With March Madness, around a quarter of all Americans plan to wager over $15 billion this year. Kansas holds the record for the most consecutive appearances in this tournament. 
The popular favorites to win out the bracket are Alabama, Texas A&M, and Gonzaga. Everything, everywhere, all at once had a big night at the Oscars, taking home seven statues. Michelle Yeoh made Oscars history by becoming the first Asian woman and second woman of color to win Best Actress. Jimmy Kimmel took light of Chris Rock being slapped by Will Smith last year, saying if anyone in the theater commits an act of violence, they'll be awarded the Best Actor Award. A North Carolina man who was barricaded in his home for more than 30 hours has been taken into custody peacefully. Officers say the man was suffering from mental health issues and threatened to kill his neighbors. Following threats, people called 911 and the standoff began. Law enforcement fired one shot, but no one was injured. Columbia's National Police dispersed protesters and lifted roadblocks after miners went on strike against the nation's illegal mining operations. Although Columbia's president says that Del Golfo gang was behind the strike and that group armed protesters. The gang's operations extended to 28 countries around the world and the United Nations has over half of Colombia's gold exports from illegal mines. New video shows the garbage piling up through the streets of Paris as workers continue oh, to protest against a retirement bill. This bill would raise their retirement age from 62 to 64. The French president has not agreed to meet with unions to discuss the bill. The legislation will try to clear its next hurdle on Wednesday when the next mass protest is planned. Well, uh, just when you think you're not very good at golf <laughs> and you get bad bounces every once in a while. All the time. Check out this one. Nick Taylor here. Lands it on the green, but it's going to roll off and land right in the top of that post. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Can I get a ruling here? Uh, unplayable lie, right? I think That's it's an unplayable the lie. Most, I don't yeah. know how, I don't know. Uh, we never know, we didn't, we didn't find out what happened after this. There was a rain delay, so oh, we still have no idea, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get uh, Julian C. right. No rain delays today, we would get a little delay for snow though. Yeah, maybe for some areas, but as of right now, speaking of rain, we have the first warm weather alert. Well, not alerts, but we're watching for a system later into the week that could be bringing some rain throughout much of the upper Midwest and especially for us here in uh, Madison or Southern Wisconsin. As we get into our Thursday, expect a system to be bringing us rain throughout the course of the day leading into our Friday. Couldn't see some snow. Temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s this midweek, but until then, we're going to be dealing with some very cold temperatures tonight going into our Tuesday morning. So make sure you're wearing an extra layer. Snow chances will return once we get into our Friday and for the weekend. Here's a quick look at our 10 day forecast. Folks, it's still just not spring yet. All right, Julian, thank you. And thanks for joining us. Make it a great day. We're back with a live update at 726.